Okay, guys. So, basement. As you had seen from the first video, we had granite on the outside, which is more of a block type piece of stone. Where down here, uh, it's uh, field stone, stones that came out of a field. So that tells me that this foundation has been possibly added to before where it started in the back, you know, in the good old days with the field stone, somebody added to uh, the foundation. So dryer hookups down here, washer right there, old sink, been painted, older windows, basement windows. Let's see if we've got heat down here. Try to keep a radius, try to keep some of the heat. Although, if you look at that door there, you've got so much air coming and going that those little radiators aren't going to do much. Again, older windows. I'm not even sure if I want to. I might give you guys a call and, uh, and maybe discuss this one a little bit. Uh, it's delighted. The, the apartments. The lady in the first floor didn't want me to. Let's see if I've got any lights here. Didn't want me to um, video her apartment. Let me see if I can find some light switches. Let's see something now. Uh, so, but I'll describe what I had seen. This might be. All right, it's on a timer. I don't know what that does. All right, I don't want to make this video too too big, but first floor is run down. There's no question about it. Older everything. Um, ladies, obviously renting. That's the water meter. Been here before. Is here now. We're looking at two oil tanks, three heating systems. So you can see that small pipe in there, that's oil, that's oil, and that's gas. So from the first video you saw there was one gas meter out there and then four empty spots. That's because you've got oil equipment here. These are by no means newer machines. I wouldn't be able to tell you what year they are. Home inspector would. They can look at serial numbers and that kind of thing. Electric hot water heater, electric hot water heater, and this one over here, gas. So, and it says one, so I can only assume the unit one, this first floor level, is gas hot water, gas heating system. Units two and three are uh, either electric or oil. Knob and tube. Uh, I see so. It's there. Whether or not it's active or not, I wouldn't be able to tell you unless I can trace it back to. We can see that there. There's one leg, there's the other leg running side by side. If I can trace that back to a light, that'll tell me whether or not it's active or not. But at the very least, I would certainly say that if it's going up into a wall like that, you know, you got a junction box there, um, chances are that might just be two wire, the uh, hot and the negative going up with no ground. So older electric, I'm gonna leave it at that right now until uh, you know somebody says otherwise. So that's the basement. I'm gonna try to video the um, second floor and third floor, decent size basement as far as, you know, weeping and, and water and all that. Uh, I don't see a lot, maybe except for over by where that door is. But again, I could probably stick my hand underneath that door. So that door would have to be, uh, you know, fixed up so that, <clears throat> you know, you don't have a ton of air and water and be able to come through here. Sump pump, this hasn't been working for a while, uh, which is good news and bad news. Good news is that you shouldn't be getting a lot of water in here, but you never know.
you know, bad news is if you ever do get water in here, I don't think that's ready to be uh, to be used. You know, unless we connect and get to a plug like that, that comes off, and you lose all your protection. So if you don't want to do that, that needs to be fixed and made better. So so far, entire building is deleted. Basement is mostly dry. Uh, head height here on five something, five six, five seven, something like that. This is probably get another foot above that, so six six something. Heating systems in decent shape. Well, hot water tanks in decent shape. That heating system not too bad. The two oil ones in the back, uh, a little different story. So. And again, I'm not a home inspector, I'm not a contractor, I can't talk to any of that that I have. Uh, you know, those folks do that kind of uh, stuff as far as answering those kind of questions. I'm getting distracted by some of this PEX plumbing going to copper back and forth. So they've replaced some plumbing in here, probably stuff that has broken in the past. Uh, and again, not a contractor, so I can't really tell you whether or not this is good or bad. But, um, you know, I just showed you a picture of it. Alright, so that's the basement. I'm going to go see if I can take a, a video of the second floor. First floor, uh, while I've got your hands kind of fresh in my, my mind, um, three bedrooms. One of them is a double parlor with a pocket door. Uh, the other bedrooms um, are typical in size. Uh, it has a living room, a dining room, and a kitchenette, uh, like a little pantry area, uh, and then the kitchen itself. Like I said, everything is um, not up to date. Um, I'm not going to say it's unusable, but it's certainly not something that we would go in and go, ooh, wow, this is great because um, it's not it's it's older it's some stuff is cracked some stuff is and there's people living in it too so the lady she seems to be want to stay uh, but again you can't count too too much on that so that's the first floor that's the best i'm gonna have to i'm gonna be able to do um you know for that and with that i see this pipe right here cast iron rubber boot going down into I don't know what I can imagine that that's doing the same thing so this must be going down and out towards the street I think that's the street that way so all the sewer piping must be underneath sometimes you see it run along the basement wall you know going out to the basement wall in this case everything goes straight down and it's under the uh, um, basement floor Good news is it's cemented, you know, decent size. It's just a matter of figuring out whether or not the other apartments are what condition they are, and we'll see if whether or not we can get a video on them. All right, Tony Mello, Mello Properties Team, 508-369-9755. Thanks.